Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Luana. It's the 29th of December, 2018. We're going to reflect on Luke chapter 2, 22 to 35. When the time came for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered A sacrifice, according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. The Gospel of the Lord. Simeon was a righteous and devout man. The Holy Spirit had told him that he would not die before he saw the Messiah. We don't know when he was told this, but I'm assuming it was many years before Jesus was born. And what joy for him to finally behold the promised Messiah. His waiting had paid off. Now, we are not very good at waiting, especially when we have these extended periods of darkness, like we are in a tunnel and there is no end in sight. If you are going through this now, I just want to leave you with a few scriptural verses that may help. I know they help me when I go through such times. One, don't trust in your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5-6 tells us to trust in the Lord with all our heart and not lean on our own understanding in all our ways to submit to him and he will make our path straight. 2. Put your hope in God's word. Psalm 135 says, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word I put my hope. The word of God will not disappoint us because God keeps his word. 3. Know that God is hearing you. Sometimes it seems like he is deaf to our cries, but he isn't. Have the confidence of Micah who declared, But as for me, I watch and hope for the Lord. I wait for God my Savior. My God will hear me. That's Micah 7, 7. Four, wait with expectant hope. It's like the expectation of a pregnant woman. It's a nine-month wait for her baby to be born, but she knows that she will soon have the joy of holding a newborn in her hands. So cry with the psalmist. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. That's Psalms 5, 3. Finally, just know that God will take you through. Remember the words of the psalmist again. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely, your goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Say amen. God bless you.